welcome to episode 161. It is Thursday, our last episode before the mega weekend episode, so that's exciting. I had a virtual tour book for today, but it was a, a scheduling error, so it's actually not until next week. So I'm in Moberly today. Right now I've got to drop off a package. It's actually my drone that had the motor failure and crash. They finally got me the RMA number, so I'm able to get it shipped off and uh, hopefully fixed under warranty. So I'm a little torn in regards to whether or not I will keep both drones or sell one of them and buy the new Mavic drone. Uh, the new Mavic drone apparently has the same sensor as the Phantom 4 and the footage, when you see it on its own, looks great, but today I finally saw a comparison, thank you to Casey Neistat, of the Mavic side by side with the Phantom 4. I don't mind the fact that it's a narrower field of view. I actually think that's better for drone footage, but the coloring, then just really the quality of the footage straight out of the drone, just it looks kind of pukey, so. guys it's about three o'clock taking off from the office I've got a couple houses to show today was good I was able to get a good chunk of stuff done first part of the day I focused on getting our financials situated for our businesses and the second half of the day I spent in IT world and I hate doing IT work I had to do some work to iCloud we have a synced iCloud account that syncs all of our contacts and calendars to Outlook and uh, those two pieces of software do not like to play nice with one another so I tried all kinds of different things and then finally just gave up and uninstalled iCloud and reinstalled it and it worked so if you ever have issues with iCloud just not giving you access inside of Outlook, just uninstall iCloud and reinstall it, and uh, that should fix it. Had a couple extra minutes before my appointment, so I stopped in here at Sonic to get a half price happy hour soda. Yeah. All right, guys, it's about 4 30. Just got done with my showings. I'm heading home, and I'm gonna check in with the girls and start getting ready for tonight. I think we gotta be somewhere about six o'clock, so. So it's one of those days where we're running and running and running. Should be fun. So, Mowgli is made up of a lot of great people. Really just phenomenal people, you know, salt of the earth kind of people, but there's also uh, quite a few that aren't exactly bright. So, we live on a dead end street here in town, and I just had two cars like fly down the street. So, I always had a camera close by, so I uh, whipped it out, and it's a dead end, so I knew they were gonna come back. And I filmed them uh, coming back up the street. I'm nerdy, and I'm kinda curious, like, how fast were they going? I'm sure the police would like to know that. So, I've got my tape measure, and uh, our streets have these tar lines on them. So I'm gonna measure the distance so I can calculate their speed based on the video clip I got. One section is 20 feet. With that, I should be able to calculate it. Camera shoots at 60 frames a second. Pretty sure I can do the math, so. I'll do from the moment their front tire touches the black line. So it was 13 frames. So 13 divided by 60 is 0.216 and then to get how many times that car would travel 20 feet in a second i take one divided by 0.216 and i get 4.615 so that car would have traveled 20 feet 4.615 times in one second so i take 4.615 times 20 i get 92.307 so that car traveled 92.3 feet in one second. And then there are 60 seconds per minute, and there's 60 minutes in an hour. So we'll do times 60 again. So that car would have traveled 332,307 feet 
in an hour. And then since there are 5,280 feet in a mile, I'm gonna divide that number by 5,280, and that gives us 62 miles per hour. Um, Chris and I gotta get to our event we're heading to, so I gotta sign off. But even if I'm off by one frame, they would still be doing 80 feet per second, which comes out to be 55 miles per hour. Ridiculous. <laughs> guys, Christy and I just got home from our Excel meeting, our very first one. They encouraged us to take a lot of pictures, so I don't know if it's acceptable or not, but in my mind that gives me the green light to do some vlogging. I'm looking forward to taking uh, the camera with me on Saturday. We're doing the history of Randolph County, so I could not be more excited. But tonight they gave us a homework assignment. We have some poster board, and apparently we're supposed to with crayons. Ta-da! There's instructions, and I haven't read the instructions yet, but we're supposed to depict in an artistic manner our life from one corner to the other. So I think I'm gonna need a bigger poster board. Today was awesome. I look forward to this weekend. Tomorrow starts our three-day mega episode, so look for that Sunday night. If you're Jones in for a video between now and then, go back and catch some of the old ones. There's a lot of great content there you can check out. So with that said, remember, do us the hugest favor and help share these episodes. Hit that big old thumbs up if you think we deserve it. And I absolutely look forward to seeing you tomorrow on Life in the Flyover. Did you stock stuff in the fridge? What you guys doing? Mm -hmm. Yummy, we're having ketchup sandwiches. We're a little short on groceries, so we have to get creative tonight. We're making homemade meatball stuff. Ha, ha, ha.